As temperatures start to soar and we spend more time outdoors, our risk of skin cancer also rises. More than 9,500 people are diagnosed with skin cancer each day here in the United States. As NBC 15's Kelly Foster reports, there are easy steps you can take to prevent it. The sun's rays are most intense from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. During this time, avoid direct sunlight or protect your skin with clothing or sunscreen with a SPF 15 or higher. Unlike most cancers, skin cancer forms outside the body and can usually be seen. So take action if you notice something unusual that wasn't there before. And go see a healthcare provider if you notice something like that. Check your skin for abnormal spots about every six months and be on the lookout for signs of melanoma. Something that has abnormal borders or strange colors uh, that might be growing uh, larger than the size of a pea or changing quickly, those are signs that you really want to watch out for. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer by the age of 70. More than two people die of skin cancer in the U.S. every hour. Having five or more sunburns doubles your risk for melanoma, but when detected early, the five-year survival rate for melanoma is 99 percent. The earlier skin cancer is detected, the better the chance for successful treatment and survival. Kelly Foster, NBC 15 News. Well, each year more people in the U.S. are diagnosed with skin cancer than all other cancers combined. So don't forget to reapply. Just an hour ago in our 5 o'clock newscast, we had a surgical oncologist from the Mitchell Cancer Institute visit our studio. Uh, he told us everyone needs to be aware of the signs, but he also told us about a vaccine for melanoma that's showing some serious promise. People don't realize that you can have dark skin, you can be of any race and have melanoma. Absolutely. Uh, while melanoma is pr predominantly seen in Caucasians, uh, it can be seen in Hispanics, uh, Asian uh, cultures and populations, as well as African American. Uh, the distribution is a little bit uh, is, is different, um, particularly in the African American community. We see it in the soles of feet, underneath fingernails. Mm -hmm. So it's something that really can affect any, anybody. And it's not always where uh, we have exposure to sun. Sometimes it's in areas that uh, are, are covered all the time. So you really need to be uh, aware and on the lookout. And so it sounds like this vaccine could really be a game changer for the treatment. He said, uh, particularly for the reoccurrence of it. It, it can. You know, the, the, the ways we treat melanoma have really changed quickly over the past 10 years. Um, the way this vaccine was given, these people had advanced melanoma that was removed with surgery, and then they got the standard of care immunotherapy, and then possibly this vaccine, and the people that got the vaccine did better. Now we're treating people before surgery and they do even better. So probably the next step is to give this vaccine and immunotherapy before surgery and see if we can make progress, even more progress than we've made thus far. Now the vaccine is still undergoing clinical trials. If it is approved, it could be an invaluable tool in the fight against cancer.